Culture Vulture, 6th to the 12th of April, 2024. Welcome to Culture Vulture, your guide to the week's entertainment from an alternative standpoint. Music is by Tim Bragg and selections and writing is by Pat Harrington. Highlights this week include Unlocked, A Jail Experiment, a Netflix documentary series that takes viewers inside the walls of an Arkansas detention facility to witness a radical social experiment granting incarcerated men more agency. Eight episodes of Fallout on Amazon Prime based on the post-apocalyptic video game. And Defiance, Fighting the Far Right, a three-part series from Channel 4. Saturday the 6th of April 2024. A Matter of Life and Death, 1946, 1 p.m. BBC 2. A Matter of Life and Death, also known as Stairway to Heaven, in the United States, is a 1946 British fantasy romance film set in England during World War II. It was written, produced, and directed by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. The film features an ensemble cast including David Niven, Roger Livesey, Raymond Massey, Kim Hunter, and Marius Goring. Plot Summary In 1945, squadron leader Peter Carter, a Royal Air Force pilot, is flying a badly damaged and burning Lancaster bomber over the English Channel after a mission over Germany. Carter, expecting to die, orders his crew to bail out without revealing that his own parachute has been destroyed. The only radio operator receiving him is June, stationed at a United States Army Air Forces base on the English coast. Carter converses with June before jumping from the Lancaster without a parachute. Peter should have died at that point, but Conductor 71, the guide sent to escort him to the other world, misses him in the thick fog over the English Channel. To his bewilderment, Peter wakes up on a beach near June's base. He assumes he is in the afterlife, but when a de Havilland mosquito flies low overhead, he discovers that he is still alive. Peter meets June, and they fall in love. Conductor 71 stops time to explain the situation, urging Peter to accept his death and accompany him to the other world. However, Peter demands an appeal. While Conductor 71 consults his superiors, Peter continues to live. Eventually, he is granted an appeal and has three days to prepare his case. The film's title, A Matter of Life and Death, reflects the central theme of life, love, and the cosmic struggle between life and death. It's a captivating blend of romance, fantasy, and wartime drama, and it remains a beloved classic in British cinema history. The Crusades, three episodes from 6.40pm, PBS America. Dr. Thomas Asbridge presents a revelatory account of the Crusades, a 200-year war between Christians and Muslims for control of the Holy Land. The story of the Crusades is often remembered as a tale of religious fanaticism and unspeakable violence. However, fresh research, eyewitness testimony, and contemporary evidence from both the Christian and Islamic worlds shed new light on how these two great religions waged war in the name of God. Here's an overview of the three episodes. Episode 1, The Epic Journey The initial episode traces the epic journey of the first crusaders. They marched 3,000 miles from Europe with the sacred goal of recapturing the city of Jerusalem from Islam. Along the way, they endured starvation, disease, and bloodthirsty battles. Surprisingly, these crusaders actually considered surrender during their titanic expedition. Dr. Asbridge reveals that they were not the invincible holy warriors of legend. Episode 2, The Confrontation Dr. Asbridge explores how the military confrontation between Christians and Muslims unfolded over the centuries. The crusades were marked by intense struggles, shifting alliances, and fierce battles. This episode delves into the complexities of the conflict and the motivations driving both sides. Episode 3, Victory and Defeat The third episode concludes the saga. It examines how the military confrontation ultimately played out. Dr. Asbridge visits France to learn more about crusade leader King Louis IX. King Louis IX's hopes of achieving victory ebbed away on the shores of the River Nile in Egypt. Blood Simple, 1984 1.50 a.m. Film 4. Go on a journey into the shadowy realms of neo-noir with Joel and Ethan Cohen's electrifying debut feature, Blood Simple. This 1984 American independent gem, a mesmerizing fusion of crime thriller and pulp fiction, captivates audiences with its relentless suspense and gritty realism. Set against the atmospheric backdrop of Texas, Blood Simple thrusts viewers into a web of deceit and treachery. 
The narrative unfolds amidst a torrential downpour, as bartender Ray and housewife Abby navigate the murky waters of desire and betrayal. Their clandestine affair, simmering with tension, serves as the catalyst for a series of harrowing events that spiral out of control. At the heart of the story lies the toxic dynamic between Abby, Ray, and Julian Marty, Ray's domineering boss and Abby's estranged husband. As passions ignite and loyalties are tested, the stage is set for a chilling tale of murder and retribution. With the introduction of the enigmatic private detective Lauren Visser, portrayed with chilling intensity by M. Emmett Walsh, the plot thickens, and the stakes skyrocket. Blood Simple's narrative trajectory is as labyrinthine as the dark alleys of noir itself. Twists and turns abound as characters navigate a landscape fraught with paranoia and moral ambiguity. The film's title, drawn from Dashiell Hammett's seminal novel, Red Harvest, serves as a haunting reminder of the psychological toll of violence, plunging its characters into a state of, blood simple, where reason gives way to primal instinct. In crafting blood simple, the Coen brothers exhibit a mastery of style and storytelling that belies their status as first-time directors. Every frame pulses with tension, every line of dialogue crackles with subtext. Cinematographer Barry Sonnenfeld's deft lens captures the stark beauty of the Texas landscape, infusing the film with an eerie, otherworldly atmosphere. Beyond its technical achievements, Blood Simple holds significance as a launching pad for several cinematic careers. Francis McDormand's luminous performance as Abby heralds the emergence of a formidable talent, while Barry Sonnenfeld's skillful cinematography foreshadows his future success as a director. Moreover, the film's impact extends beyond the screen, inspiring real-life conspiracy theories with its labyrinthine plot and edge-of-your-seat suspense. In summary, Blood Simple stands as a testament to the enduring power of neo-noir cinema. Its intricate plotting, evocative atmosphere, and powerhouse performances make it a landmark achievement in the genre. For aficionados of suspenseful storytelling and atmospheric filmmaking, Blood Simple remains an essential entry in the cinematic canon, a timeless classic that continues to enthrall audiences with its dark allure. Reclaiming Amy 9 PMW Reclaiming Amy is a poignant documentary that marks the 10-year anniversary of the passing of the iconic British singer Amy Winehouse. In this film, her closest family and friends, including her mother, Janice, and her father, Mitch, reveal the truth about Amy's life, her struggles, and her remarkable musical journey. Here are the key details about the documentary. The documentary delves into both the success and the tragedy of the immensely talented artist. Through personal accounts and intimate insights, it paints a vivid picture of Amy Winehouse's impact on music and culture. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to her story, Reclaiming Amy provides a moving tribute to a remarkable artist whose legacy continues to resonate worldwide. Eternal Beauty, 2019, 11.45 p.m. BBC 2 Eternal Beauty is a 2019 British dark comedy crafted by the visionary mind of Craig Roberts. With a stellar cast led by Sally Hawkins, David Thewlis, and Billy Piper, this cinematic gem invites audiences on a poignant exploration of love, loss, and the labyrinthine corridors of the mind. Eternal Beauty unravels the tale of Jane, portrayed with haunting depth by Sally Hawkins, whose life takes a tumultuous turn after being jilted at the altar. Plunged into the throes of schizophrenia, Jane embarks on a harrowing journey spanning two decades, where reality blurs with delusion and the boundaries of sanity are tested. Against the backdrop of familial strife and societal stigma, Jane navigates a turbulent landscape where love, both genuine and illusory, becomes her anchor in the storm. Central to the narrative tapestry is Jane's unlikely romance with Mike, a failed musician portrayed with raw vulnerability by David Thewlis. Their darkly comic courtship unfolds against the backdrop of Jane's mental turmoil, offering a stark juxtaposition of lightness amidst the shadows. Eternal beauty transcends traditional genre boundaries, seamlessly weaving elements of dark comedy, drama, and romance into a captivating tapestry of human experience. Through Robert's deft direction, the film delves into the complexities of psychiatric struggles, portraying with nuance the inner workings of the mind and the haunting specter of psychosis. Eternal Beauty confronts the stigma surrounding mental illness with unflinching honesty, offering a poignant meditation on the transformative power of love and the enduring quest for meaning amidst the chaos of existence. As audiences journey through the haunting corridors of Eternal Beauty, they are invited to confront their own perceptions of reality and empathy. 
Sally Hawkins' mesmerizing performance as Jane serves as a beacon of strength and vulnerability, guiding viewers through the labyrinthine depths of the human psyche. Eternal Beauty stands as a testament to the transformative power of cinema. Through its captivating storytelling and powerhouse performances, it invites audiences on a journey of self-discovery and empathy, illuminating the beauty that resides within the darkest corners of the human soul. A Time to Kale, 1996, 12 a.m., C4. In the sweltering heat of Canton, Mississippi, a horrifying crime shatters the fragile peace of a small southern town. Ten-year-old African-American girl Tonya Haley is abducted, brutally raped, and left for dead by two local white men. The perpetrators, Billy Ray Cobb and James Willard, are apprehended, but their arrest doesn't quell the rage and anguish that engulfs the community. Enter Carl Lee Haley, Tonya's father, portrayed by the formidable Samuel L. Jackson. Consumed by grief and fury, Carl Lee takes justice into his own hands. Armed with an automatic rifle, he storms the county courthouse, seeking retribution for his daughter's suffering. In a hail of bullets, he kills both rapists and inadvertently wounds Deputy Dwayne Looney. The act is shocking, desperate, and irreversible. Jake Brigantz, a white lawyer played by Matthew McConaughey, steps forward to defend Carl Lee. But this isn't just any legal battle, it's a crucible of race, morality, and the weight of history. As the trial unfolds, the town becomes a powder keg of racial tension. The courtroom, once a symbol of justice, now mirrors the deep-seated divisions that plague society. Here are the key social themes that resonate throughout the film. Racial injustice and prejudice. The film unflinchingly exposes the racial bias ingrained in the legal system. Carl Lee faces an all-white jury, and the odds are stacked against him. The question looms, can justice prevail when skin color determines guilt or innocence? The Klan's presence, both in the streets and behind the scenes, underscores the systemic racism that permeates every facet of life. Their hatred fuels the fire, threatening to consume any hope of a fair trial. The burden of representation. Jake Brigant shoulders the weight of defending Carl Lee. His decision isn't just about legal strategy, it's a moral reckoning. Can he navigate the treacherous waters of race relations while upholding the principles of justice? Ellen Rourke, the brilliant law student played by Sandra Bullock, joins the defense team. Her presence challenges gender norms and highlights the struggle for recognition and respect in a male-dominated profession. Community divide and collective conscience. The town becomes a microcosm of America, torn between those who demand vengeance and those who seek compassion. The streets echo with protests, counter-protests, and the clash of ideologies. The film asks, how does a community heal when its wounds run deep? Can empathy bridge the chasm between black and white, victim and perpetrator? Personal sacrifice and moral dilemmas. Lucian Wilbanks, portrayed by Donald Sutherland, embodies the complexities of a former civil rights lawyer who now grapples with his own demons. His past activism contrasts sharply with his present cynicism. Harry Rex Vonner, Jake's loyal friend, wrestles with loyalty to his client versus loyalty to the truth. His internal struggle mirrors the broader ethical quandaries faced by those seeking justice. The power of storytelling. The trial becomes a narrative battleground. Each side weaves a story, one of vengeance, the other of survival. Whose story will resonate with the jury? Whose pain will they feel? The film underscores how storytelling shapes our perceptions, biases, and ultimately, our verdicts. A Time to Kill isn't just about legal maneuvering it's a mirror reflecting the soul of a nation. It forces us to confront uncomfortable truths, to question our assumptions, and to recognize that justice isn't blind, it's deeply entwined with our collective humanity. As the courtroom drama unfolds, we witness the collision of past and present, prejudice and empathy, rage and redemption. And in that crucible, we find the timeless question, when faced with injustice, what is our duty, to turn away or to fight for what's right? If you haven't seen this gripping film, I highly recommend it. Its impact lingers long after the credits roll, leaving us pondering the complexities of morality, race, and the fragile threads that bind us all. Monday the 8th of April 2024. Defiance, Fighting the Far Right 9pm, C4, one of three episodes. Defiance, Fighting the Far Right, is a powerful three-part documentary series that sheds light on a critical period in British history. 
Between 1976 and 1981, Britain's Asian community faced targeted violence. The political activities of the National Front, a group opposed to mass immigration and in favor of repatriation, escalated at the same time. Here are the key details. Focus, the series examines the courage and resilience of everyday British Asians who confronted racial violence during this tumultuous time. Seminal events covered. Southall protests, a significant moment of resistance. Death of Blair Peach, investigating the tragic loss of an anti-racist campaigner. Battle for Brick Lane, the struggle against racist extremism. The Bradford Twelve, an extraordinary story of defiance. Narrative approach. The documentary combines archive footage with new testimony from key figures who were on the front lines during this period. It highlights the pivotal moments when the British Asian community decided to fight back against prejudice and violence. Significance. The series aims to bring these overlooked events into focus, emphasizing the bravery and determination of those who stood up against hatred. Against the backdrop of a British Asian Prime Minister and an Asian First Minister in Scotland, this documentary resonates with contemporary relevance. It's interesting to note that the far right no longer has an effective party of its own, but rather it seems that many of its views have been incorporated within mainstream parties in the UK. Continues Tuesday and Wednesday, at the later time of 10 pm. The Two Faces of January, 2014, 11 15 pm, BBC Two. The Two Faces of January, a gripping 2014 thriller, marked the directorial debut of Hossein Amini, acclaimed for his adept storytelling and screenwriting prowess. Drawing inspiration from Patricia Highsmith's evocative 1964 novel of the same name, Amini crafts a riveting cinematic experience that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. With a stellar ensemble cast led by the talents of Viggo Mortensen, Kirsten Dunst, and Oscar Isaac, the film brings to life the intricacies of Highsmith's intricate tale with remarkable depth and nuance. Set against the lush backdrop of 1962 Greece, the plot unfurls with the introduction of Chester McFarland, a charming yet enigmatic New York con artist, and his beguiling wife, Colette. Their seemingly idyllic Mediterranean excursion takes a fateful turn when they cross paths with Rydal Kina, a young American adrift in a foreign land. Drawn together by chance, the trio's destinies become intertwined in a web of deceit, desire, and desperation. The narrative gains momentum as Chester's past catches up with him, culminating in a violent altercation that propels the protagonists into a harrowing game of cat and mouse. Faced with betrayal and impending danger, they navigate treacherous terrain, both physical and emotional, as they grapple with the consequences of their actions. Amini juxtaposes breathtaking vistas of Greece and Turkey with the claustrophobic tension simmering beneath the surface, creating a cinematic canvas that is as visually stunning as it is emotionally resonant. From the sun-drenched splendor of the Acropolis to the shadowy labyrinth of Knossos, each location serves as a backdrop for the characters in a turmoil and external conflicts. The Two Faces of January is a tale of moral ambiguity and the human capacity for both darkness and redemption. As secrets unravel and alliances shift, the lines between perpetrator and victim blur, leaving viewers captivated by the characters' shifting allegiances and moral dilemmas. Premiering to critical acclaim at the 64th Berlin International Film Festival, the film captivated audiences with its blend of suspense, romance, and intrigue. Although we already knew what a great writer Amini was, this showed his ability to craft a taut and immersive thriller, as a director, that lingered in the mind long after the credits roll. Tuesday, the 9th of April 2024. Capricorn 1, 1977, 11 and Legend. Capricorn 1, the thought-provoking 1977 sci-fi thriller, stands as a cinematic landmark that not only captivated audiences with its gripping narrative, but also inadvertently ignited real-world conspiracy theories. Delving into its themes reveals a rich tapestry of lessons and insights that continue to resonate with viewers to this day. Government deception and media manipulation. In the film, NASA resorts to faking a Mars mission to maintain funding, highlighting the perilous intersection of government deception and media complicity. The narrative serves as a cautionary tale, underscoring the importance of critical thinking and skepticism in an age where narratives can be manipulated to shape public perception. Deep cynicism and post-Nixon era. Reflecting the post-Nixon era's deep cynicism, Capricorn 1 challenges blind trust in authority, regardless of political affiliations. 
Director Peter Hyams deliberately aimed to provoke thought and encourage viewers to question the authenticity of information presented by the media, fostering a culture of discernment and skepticism. Transgressive Thought Experiment The film's artful transgression invites audiences to imagine a world where truth can be fabricated, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. By keeping viewers on the edge of uncertainty until the final scene, Capricorn One encourages exploration of alternative perspectives and critical awareness of official narratives. Influence on Conspiracy Theories While not a blockbuster, Capricorn One left an indelible mark, inadvertently fueling moon-landing conspiracy theories with its premise of government deception. The film's narrative sparked fervent skepticism and became a blueprint for those questioning historical events. Capricorn One serves as a poignant reminder of the dangers of misinformation, manipulation, and the power of narratives to shape collective beliefs. Its legacy extends beyond entertainment, underscoring the importance of critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning in navigating a world where truth can be elusive. For enthusiasts of government conspiracies and media intrigue, this film remains essential viewing offering not only thrills but also profound insights into the complexities of truth and deception. Molly's Game, 2007, 11.15 p.m. BBC2 Molly's Game, the compelling 2017 biographical film helmed by acclaimed screenwriter Aaron Sorkin in his directorial debut, brings to the screen the remarkable true story of Molly Bloom, as chronicled in her 2014 memoir of the same name. With a stellar ensemble cast featuring Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Kevin Costner, and a host of other talented actors, the film paints a vivid portrait of Bloom's journey from Olympic hopeful to underground poker impresario. At its core, the narrative revolves around Molly Bloom, portrayed with captivating depth by Jessica Chastain, whose aspirations of Olympic glory are derailed by a devastating injury. Refusing to be defeated, Bloom embarks on a new chapter in Los Angeles, where she finds herself drawn into the clandestine world of high stakes poker. As she navigates the murky waters of celebrity, wealth, and power, Bloom's rise to prominence as the orchestrator of exclusive poker games for the elite unfolds against a backdrop of intrigue and danger. Sorkin's masterful screenplay delves into the intricacies of Bloom's underground empire, exploring the complexities of ambition, loyalty, and moral ambiguity. From the glitzy allure of Hollywood to the seedy underbelly of organized crime, the film paints a nuanced portrait of a woman determined to carve out her own destiny, even as the forces of law and order close in around her. Principal photography for Molly's Game commenced in Toronto, Canada, in November 2016, with the film making its highly anticipated premiere at the prestigious Toronto International Film Festival in September 2017. Garnering widespread acclaim upon its limited theatrical release later that year, the film captivated audiences and critics alike with its gripping narrative and standout performances. Jessica Chastain's portrayal of Molly Bloom earned her a well-deserved Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress Drama, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most versatile talents. Meanwhile, Aaron Sorkin's incisive screenplay garnered accolades at major award ceremonies, including nominations at the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Writers Guild of America Awards, and BAFTA Awards, attesting to its profound impact and enduring relevance. For those intrigued by Bloom's extraordinary journey, her memoir, Molly's Game, the true story of the 26-year-old woman behind the most exclusive, high-stakes underground poker game in the world, offers a deeper dive into the captivating world of high-stakes gambling and the indomitable spirit of its fearless protagonist. Wednesday 10 April 2024 Fight Club, 1999, 10.50pm Film 4 Fight Club, the groundbreaking 1999 film directed by David Fincher and based on Chuck Palahniuk's 1996 novel, offers a visceral exploration of masculinity amidst the backdrop of societal discontent and existential angst. Starring Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, and Helena Bonham Carter, the film delves into the psyche of the unnamed narrator, played by Norton, as he grapples with the disillusionment of modern life. At its core, Fight Club serves as a searing commentary on the crisis of masculinity in contemporary society. The unnamed narrator, disillusioned with the trappings of consumer culture and plagued by a sense of emasculation, finds solace in the primal violence of the underground Fight Club. 
His alter ego, Tyler Durden, embodied by Brad Pitt's charismatic portrayal, becomes a symbol of unrestrained masculinity, challenging societal norms and embracing a philosophy of radical self-liberation. Through the lens of the Fight Club, the film interrogates traditional notions of masculinity, juxtaposing the narrator's journey towards self-discovery with the destructive consequences of unchecked male aggression. The allure of physical combat becomes a metaphor for the existential struggle for identity and purpose in a world that values materialism over genuine human connection. However, beneath the surface bravado lies a deeper exploration of the complexities of male identity. As the narrator becomes increasingly entangled in Tyler Durden's anarchic worldview, he confronts the darker aspects of masculinity, including violence, power, and toxic machismo. The film challenges viewers to reckon with the consequences of patriarchal ideology and the societal pressures that constrain authentic self-expression. Despite its initial box office disappointment, Fight Club found renewed success through home video releases and has since attained cult status, sparking fervent discussions and analysis among viewers. On its 10th anniversary, the New York Times aptly dubbed it the defining cult movie of our time, highlighting its enduring relevance and impact on popular culture. In summary, Fight Club stands as a multifaceted exploration of masculinity, offering a provocative critique of societal norms while delving into the complexities of male identity. Its visceral portrayal of violence and existential despair challenges viewers to confront uncomfortable truths about gender, power, and the human condition, cementing its status as a cinematic masterpiece that continues to provoke thought and debate. Thursday the 11th of April 2024. A Life in Ten Pictures, 4 of 6 Alistair McQueen 9pm. A Life in Ten Pictures, Alexander McQueen, is a remarkable documentary that unveils the extraordinary life of the renowned British fashion designer, Alexander McQueen. Through a curated selection of iconic shots and private snapshots, viewers gain insight into the enigmatic personality and creative journey of this visionary British fashion designer. Alexander McQueen's image is celebrated worldwide, but this documentary delves beyond the surface. Through carefully chosen photographs, we witness the highs, lows, and complexities of his life. Those who knew him intimately share personal stories, revealing a new perspective on this iconic designer. If you're intrigued by the intersection of art, fashion, and individuality, A Life in Ten Pictures, Alexander McQueen, is a must-watch. Tune into O Explore the captivating but troubled life of this creative genius. Friday, the 12th of April, 2024. The Power of the Dog, 2021, 11.05 p.m. BBC 2. The Power of the Dog, a 2021 Western psychological drama helmed by the visionary Jane Campion, emerges as a masterful exploration of masculinity, repression, and the haunting spectres of societal norms. Drawing from Thomas Savage's 1967 novel, the film unfolds against the rugged backdrop of Montana, though its scenes are artfully captured in the untamed beauty of rural Otago. This international co-production, spanning New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia, underscores the universality of its themes. Premiering at the esteemed 78th Venice International Film Festival, Campion's directorial prowess was duly recognized with the prestigious Silver Lion for Best Direction. Released globally on Netflix, the film garnered fervent acclaim from critics and audiences alike. Campion's nuanced direction and poignant screenplay, complemented by stunning cinematography and a haunting score, weave a tapestry of emotional depth. The ensemble cast, led by Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons, and Cody Smith-McPhee, deliver performances that linger in the psyche long after the credits roll. At the 94th Academy Awards, The Power of the Dog commanded attention with a staggering 12 nominations, reaffirming its status as a cinematic tour de force. Notably, Campion's win for Best Director marked a historic moment, echoing the singular recognition achieved by classics like The Graduate, 1967. While its nominations spanned various categories, the film's portrayal of complex characters grappling with societal expectations resonated deeply. Acknowledged by esteemed institutions such as the American Film Institute and the Golden Globe Awards, The Power of the Dog secured its place among the cinematic elite of 2021. Its exploration of themes such as toxic masculinity and the toll of conformity garnered widespread acclaim. At the 27th Critics' Choice Awards and the British Academy Film Awards, 
The film continued its winning streak, affirming its enduring impact on contemporary cinema. As the 2020s unfold, the power of the dog stands as a beacon of cinematic excellence, a testament to the transformative power of storytelling. For those seeking riveting narratives and unparalleled performances, this film is an essential addition to any must-watch list, offering a hauntingly beautiful journey into the depths of the human psyche. Mulholland Drive, 2001, 12.50am Film 4 Welcome aboard as we try to navigate the enigmatic landscape of David Lynch's surreal masterpiece, Mulholland Drive. This cinematic journey, stylized as Mulholland Drive invites audiences into a labyrinthine tale of mystery and illusion, where reality blurs with dreams. Mulholland Drive introduces us to the aspiring actress, Betty Elms, portrayed with haunting depth by Naomi Watts. Betty's arrival in the sprawling metropolis of Los Angeles sets the stage for a mesmerizing exploration of identity and desire. Alongside her, we encounter a mysterious amnesiac woman, played by Laura Herring, whose journey intertwines with Betty's in unexpected ways. Among the tapestry of characters, we also encounter a disillusioned Hollywood director, portrayed by Justin Theroux, whose narrative thread weaves seamlessly into the fabric of Lynch's narrative. Originally conceived as a television pilot, Mulholland Drive underwent a metamorphosis under Lynch's visionary direction. Despite initial rejection by television executives, Lynch's creative alchemy transformed the project into a feature film, imbuing it with a depth and complexity that defies conventional storytelling. The film's origins as a pilot linger beneath its surface, manifesting in its episodic structure and multifaceted narrative layers. Central to Mulholland Drive's allure is Lynch's surrealist aesthetic, which infuses every frame with an ethereal quality. Through his distinctive lens, the boundaries between reality and fantasy blur, inviting audiences to question the nature of perception itself. Lynch himself has described the film as a love story in the city of dreams, encapsulating its thematic resonance with the illusory nature of desire and ambition. In the realm of accolades, Mulholland Drive stands as a beacon of Lynch's cinematic prowess. At the 2001 Cannes Film Festival, Lynch was honored with the Prix de l'Armée's E.N. Seine, solidifying his reputation as a master of his craft. Additionally, the film catapulted Naomi Watts into the spotlight, elevating her Hollywood profile to new heights. Across critical landscapes, Mulholland Drive reigns supreme, earning its place among the pantheon of cinematic greats. It is hailed as one of Lynch's crowning achievements and frequently cited as one of the greatest films ever made. Its enigmatic allure continues to captivate audiences, earning it the eighth spot in the 2022 Sight and Sound Critics poll and topping a 2016 BBC poll of the best films since 2000. As we follow the winding roads of Mulholland Drive, we are reminded of cinema's power to transcend the boundaries of reality, inviting us into realms of mystery and intrigue. It is a journey not to be missed, a voyage into the depths of the human psyche where truth and illusion converge in mesmerizing harmony. And finally, streaming. On Netflix. NFT, WTF available from Tuesday, April 9, 2024, and unlocked, a jail experiment from Wednesday, April 10, 2024. NFT, WTF. NFT, WTF, a Netflix documentary. In the heart of the UK. Filmmaker David Shulman takes us on an exhilarating journey through the digital revolution that is reshaping the art market. Non-fungible tokens, NFTs, those unique, indivisible digital assets, are at the center of this seismic shift. The film features exclusive interviews with luminaries like Damien Hirst, whose NFT project the currency disrupted conventions. Hearst's audacious experiment allowed collectors to choose between retaining the NFT version or exchanging it for the original physical artwork. Those who opted for the NFT witnessed their original painting ceremoniously burned, a provocative act that raises questions about value, ownership, and the very essence of art. But Hearst is just one piece of this intricate puzzle. From the whimsical world of CryptoPunks and the enigmatic Bored Ape Yacht Club to celebrity collectors and digital artists like Beeple, Mike Winkleman, and Mad Dog Jones, NFT, WTF, unveils the architects of this groundbreaking movement. As the boundaries blur between the tangible and the digital, we witness lives transformed, fortunes made, and the course of creativity forever altered. Social themes and beyond, beyond the pixels and blockchain, NFT, WTF, 
delves into profound social themes. It's not just about art, it's about empowerment, democratization, and the collision of old and new. NFTs have become a symbol of self-expression, a way for creators to reclaim agency in a digital age. But they've also sparked debates about environmental impact, exclusivity, and speculative frenzy. As we follow the trail of virtual tokens, we confront questions about authenticity, value attribution, and the role of gatekeepers. The film invites us to ponder, can a string of code be as valuable as a canvas? How do we define ownership when the canvas is the metaverse? And ultimately, what does it mean to own something in a world where scarcity is redefined by algorithms? NFT, WTF, isn't just a documentary, it's a mirror reflecting our evolving relationship with creativity, commerce, and the intangible. So, grab your digital passport, step into the NFT gallery, and prepare to be both bewildered and inspired by this brave new frontier. Unlocked, a jail experiment, reality TV meets social transformation. In the heart of Arkansas, a determined sheriff implements an audacious plan. Within the confines of a detention center, men who have lost their freedom find themselves at the center of a groundbreaking experiment. The question, can empowerment and agency transform lives behind bars? The series peels back the layers of incarceration, revealing the struggles, hopes, and resilience of those society often forgets. As the six-week experiment unfolds, we witness the delicate balance between authority and autonomy. Can a shift in perspective lead to redemption? Can a jail become a crucible for change? Unlocked, a jail experiment invites us to confront our assumptions about justice, rehabilitation, and the human spirit. It's a gritty, provocative journey, one that challenges us to see beyond the bars and into the hearts of those seeking a second chance. Social themes and human stories, beyond the stark reality of prison life, this series delves into profound social themes. It's not just about surveillance cameras and cell blocks, it's about dignity, choices, and the power of small victories. We meet inmates who yearn for education, connection, and purpose. We witness the struggle to maintain identity within a dehumanizing system. And we grapple with the complexities of rehabilitation, how much control can we grant those who have transgressed? As the participants navigate their newfound agency, we confront our own biases and preconceptions. Unlocked, a jail experiment, isn't just a voyeuristic look at incarceration, it's a mirror reflecting our shared humanity. So, step inside the concrete walls, listen to the voices, and discover the unexpected transformations that unfold when hope meets opportunity. Franklin, all three episodes available from Friday, April 12, 2024. Franklin is a biographical drama television miniseries set to premiere on Apple TV+. Based on Stacey Schiff's 2005 book, A Great Improvisation, Franklin, France, and the Birth of America, this series brings to life the fascinating story of one of the United States' founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin takes us on an immersive journey through history, focusing on the eight years that Benjamin Franklin spent in France. His mission? to convince the country to underwrite America's fledgling democracy. Portrayed by the legendary Michael Douglas, Franklin grapples with diplomacy, intrigue, and the delicate balance between two nations. As he navigates the complexities of European politics, we witness the birth of alliances, the clash of cultures, and the forging of a new nation. The series promises a rich tapestry of characters, including Franklin's grandson William Temple Franklin, played by Noah Jupe, the enigmatic and Louise Brillon de Huey, portrayed by Ludivine Sagnier, and the formidable John Adams, brought to life by Eddie Marson. With sumptuous period settings and a stellar ensemble cast, Franklin invites us to explore the untold chapters of history, one negotiation, one revelation, and one improvisation at a time. If you're intrigued by The Birth of America, The Dance of Diplomacy, and The Indomitable Spirit of Benjamin Franklin, mark your calendars for April 12, 2024 when Franklin premieres exclusively on Apple TV+. Prepare to witness history unfold, secrets revealed, and the legacy of a visionary etched into the annals of time. On Apple TV+. Unlocked, a jail experiment. On Prime Video. Fallout, a post-apocalyptic saga with a twist, episodes from Thursday, April 11, 2024. In the year 2077, the world is ravaged by thermonuclear war. 
Atomic blasts decimate major cities across the United States, leaving survivors either seeking refuge in underground shelters or struggling to survive in irradiated wastelands. But this isn't your typical grim post-apocalyptic tale. Based on Bethesda Softworks's iconic video game franchise, Fallout takes us to an alternate universe, one where history diverged from our own after World War II. Steeped in retrofuturism, the show imagines a world where robots and swing music coexist. And at its heart lies Lucy McLean, an idealistic hero described as Leslie Nope meets Ned Flanders. But what truly sets Fallout apart is its tone, simultaneously epic, dramatic, dark, emotional, political, satirical, and even goofy. As executive producer Jonathan Nolan, known for Westworld and the Dark Knight trilogy, brings this ambitious storytelling to life, we're in for a wild ride through a world where humanity's greatest achievements and deepest flaws collide. Social commentary and political intrigue. Fallout isn't just about surviving in a nuclear wasteland, it's a mirror reflecting our own society's complexities. The show deftly balances bleakness with humor, violence, and biting satire. As we explore the aftermath of the Great War, we encounter factions vying for power, gowls seeking redemption, and vault dwellers navigating moral dilemmas. But it's the show's social commentary that truly shines. In an interview, Nolan revealed that Fallout will mirror current political issues, emphasizing cultural divides. The series invites us to ponder questions about governance, ideology, and the consequences of our actions. As the survivors grapple with rebuilding civilization, we witness echoes of our own world, where power struggles, propaganda, and the search for identity shape our destiny. Fallout isn't just escapism, it's a thought provoking exploration of humanity's resilience and frailty in the face of catastrophe. As the first images from the series emerge, fans eagerly anticipate the fusion of retro aesthetics, dark humor, and political intrigue. Fallout promises a thrilling ride through a world where the past collides with the future, and where choices matter more than ever. So, gear up, vault dwellers, your adventure awaits on Amazon Prime. Culture Vulture, 6th to the 12th of April, 2024. Welcome to Culture Vulture, your guide to the week's entertainment from an alternative standpoint. Music is by Tim Bragg and selections and writing is by Pat Harrington. Highlights this week include Unlocked, A Jail Experiment, a Netflix documentary series that takes viewers inside the walls of an Arkansas detention facility to witness a radical social experiment granting incarcerated men more agency, eight episodes of Fallout on Amazon Prime based on the post-apocalyptic video game, and Defiance, Fighting the Far Right, a three-part series from Channel 4.